Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This is our message to the Muslim world as well as our warning to the Americans, Zionists and the Indians. Pakistan is under attack right now. The last frontier of the Muslim world is being attacked from all axes in a fourth generation war in which insurgencies, terrorism, violence is being waged against the state as well as a massive economic and disinformation propaganda war has been launched. The entire Middle East is being reshaped. Muslim lands are being cut into smaller countries. American media disinformation machines are waging a global war of lies and deceptions and deceit. Iraq was destroyed and decimated in a war which was based on lies of weapons of mass destruction. No less than Colin Powell lied in the United Nations, fooled the Muslim world, lied to the world community, waged an illegal, unjust war which have killed over a million Muslims in Iraq and have decimated a Muslim land totally. The wars have been waged against Libya, against Somalia and so many other lands. Palestine and Kashmir were already burning issues for the last 64 years. But now all the Zionist guns are targeting Pakistan. Pakistan is the only Muslim nuclear country. A country with an organized army and a very patriotic nation. But Pakistan is now being presented as a terrorist state. Just like Iraq was presented as a nation having weapons of mass destruction before the invasion, that was the softening up process. Today, the American bluff, the propaganda disinformation they are spreading about Osama bin Laden and Pakistan being the epicenter of terror, everything is being done to soften up Pakistan for another invasion, just like the invasion of Afghanistan, Iraq and Libya. We Pakistani patriots are warning the Indians and the Americans. We are not Iraq, we are not Afghanistan. We are an Islamic army, nuclear armed. Your supply lines in Afghanistan go through Pakistan. Your 150,000 troops would be slaughtered and butchered if we do to you what we did to the Soviets. Do not forget that Pakistan broke down Soviet Union. We change the geography, we change the politics, and we can do the same to you. Your 64% fuel and 80% of supplies goes through Pakistan. We know your deceptions, your lying, your bluffings against Pakistan. The entire Osama bin Laden drama that you have created is based on deceptions and lies. Why are you not telling the world what happened in Abbottabad? Your helicopters were shot down, your troops were killed. But you would not, never acknowledge this. The world media, media would not even talk about your own troops being killed and helicopters being shot down. In the last 10 years, so many of your top officials have acknowledged at least half a dozen times that Osama bin Laden has died. No less than Marilyn Albright have acknowledged way back in 2003 that Osama bin Laden has died. But the news is being kept secret to boost the credentials of the next president or the president before the presidential elections. Now Obama's rating were rock bottom. He needed a drama, a facade of Osama bin Laden's being killed in Pakistan to boost his own ratings and on the other hand to create this global environment that Pakistan is a terrorist state. We know what you're going to do next. You're, you have already mobilized the global media. Now you're going to mobilize the United Nations. And you, you have already bought off the Pakistani government, which is compromised and treacherous. But we, the Pakistani patriots, in every segment of the Pakistani society, in the armed forces, the ISI, strategic assets, Air Force, Navy, establishment, students, traders, farmers, and the simple Pakistanis, we know how to live with dignity and die with honor. And by God, you will regret the day you were born, the day you decide to put your feet on ground. We know you're already waging a massive war against us. Pakistan is facing multiple insurgencies on every axis. Tehreek-e-Taliban Pakistan, the only terrorist organization in the world which has promised to avenge the so-called death of Osama, the Baluchistan Liberation Army and the terrorists 
who are now waging havoc in Karachi. We know they're all funded and backed by you, Indians and the CIA. Today, you're hurting us, yes. But you're hurting us because of traitors within our ranks, because of traitors in our government and media and establishment. But that does not mean we Pakistani patriots, people who live and die for Islam, their ideology, are going to take it lying down. You're not. We have the will, the potential and the capability to do with you what we did to the Soviets. We are warning you now, lay off, back off. Don't threaten Pakistan. Don't weave a web of deception around us. The entire axis of global Zionist media, politics and diplomacy is now being launched against Pakistan. But we are here, ready to live and die for our ideology and identity, for our faith, for our land. You can push us to a limit, but fear the day when we decide to respond. In the next few months we know that you would be creating a global environment to wage a physical war on us. We know we'll take many hits. We have taken many hits. But that has strengthened our resolve to stand up, keep our flag high, and fight for our dignity. Your unju unjust wars on the Muslim lands have woken up the sleeping, slumbering Muslim nation. And now, wrath of God awaits you in Pakistan if you ever decide to put your feet on ground. As far as the traitors are concerned, who are collaborating with you today, their days are number two. It's only a matter of time. We Pakistanis want to live in peace. But we will not tolerate you invading our lands. You have no business to be in Afghanistan. Now when you have officially claimed another lie that Osama has been killed, which you have claimed a dozen times before as well, but now you have done it officially, you have no business to be in Afghanistan. You don't speak our language, you don't have our passports, you don't share our faith. You are an occupation force here. You are here in this region to destroy our ideology and identity and lifestyle. You are here in this region to control our fuel and fossil assets. You are here in this region to control the global waterways that we control. You are here in this region to destroy our nuclear weapons. You are here in this region to contain China and to contain Russia and to defend Israel. This so-called hoax of war on terror is only to achieve these grand strategic objectives that you have for the 21st century. You have no business to be in this area, in this region, on our lands, your occupation forces. So we are giving you a last warning now. We want to live with dignity. We want to exist in peaceful coexistence, but not at the cost of our honor not at the cost of our dignity. We are sending you a last message, especially to the Indians as well. Do not try to ride on the American shoulders. Do not exploit the Western hatred for Islam for your own objectives. By God, we'll cut you down to the size of Sri Lanka. We have ruled over you for a thousand years and we'll rule for another thousand. If today you feel that you have an access built with the Western powers, to encircle and isolate and destroy Pakistan. You live, you are delirious, you live in a world of fools. By God, we Muslims, we only come on our own when we are threatened. You have created a combined threat against us. And never forget the history. For thousands of years, Muslims from the West have been charging and capturing Delhi. And by God, we'll see you once again in Delhi very soon. You'll start the war. You're telling this to the Americans as well. You'll start the war, but then you'll have no control over it. We'll finish it for you. That's a last warning to you. If you have any sense, pay heed, else you have been advised. Pakistan, Zindabad.